In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to use a technique that I call the stoplight effect. Uh, just as with a stoplight, where you have only the red, amber, or green light lit at one time and the other two are dim, so in your project, you can take a video clip or a still image or anything that you can keyframe and you can highlight it by making it bright and make the other objects on the screen dim. I'd like to show you a quick 20 second clip of how I've done that with part of what you see on the screen and then we'll show you how we made that happen. The way we accomplished what you just saw was simply using opacity keyframing. So let me widen this a little bit at the bottom so we can see our tracks better. And I'd like to show you what we did. We have the picture in the upper left corner, which is our autumn, and that's bright at the beginning. So this is the opacity level here. And then we lowered it at this point in time, and then we raised it back at the end. Likewise, when it it came to the uh, clip on the lower right, the waterfall. We made that dim for this length of time. Then we raised it up to the top, made it 100% uh, opaque until the very end of the presentation. And then we have the one in the middle, which we uh, dimmed through a lower opacity over here. And then we raised it to back to 100% in the middle. We lowered it while the waterfall was going, and then we raised it again uh, for kind of our finale here. And so what I'd like to do is show you how we did this one, which is the most complicated, and actually doing it isn't. So I'm going to double click on that clip. That will take me to my PIP designer. And I'm in my PIP designer here of the uh, sun on the water. You notice I have my, uh, keyframing open. If you don't, you can click the down arrow here that will open and close the keyframing segment. And then on the third track down, I have my opacity settings. To move between one and another, you simply click the right or left arrows. So I'm going to click all the way until I can't click it anymore. Move it all the way to the left. And so as the middle uh, image video in this case starts out, it starts out, I'm going to drag down so we can see opacity. That's the scale here on the left. It starts out at 38%. I'll click the right arrow to move to the next keyframe. And there you notice two, if you look on the left side, it's still 38%. At five um, seconds, 15 frames. And then I move over to six seconds. And at that point in time, the opacity jumps to 100%. I move it again, and at, uh, at uh, 10 uh, seconds and 10 frames, I keep it at 100, but then a few frames later, I lower it down to 38% again. Then I go again, it stays low at 38% on the next keyframe, and then I add one more keyframe where I, where I knock it up to 100%. And so when we play this in the preview window, you can watch where this will become very intense in this segment of time. And then again at the end, we'll play it and it moves. And there we have it, brighter in the middle. And it dims and then it will brighten when it hits the next keyframe. There we go. So that's an example of how you can accomplish that simply by keyframing with opacity. Mm -hmm.